If you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure you've probably interacted with a smart contract. But did you pause to think about the magic that happens behind the scenes? Well, in this video, we'll dive into blockchain oracles and why they're crucial for the functioning of smart contracts that users engage with every single day. Now, before we delve further into blockchain oracles, let's understand a key concept. Blockchains by design are closed systems. Therefore, they're unable to access or interact with data from the real world. Now, this limitation might seem like a drawback, but it's actually what underpins their remarkable security and reliability. And that's because blockchains are highly deterministic and only need to reach consensus on a very simple set of questions. These are essentially true or false questions that rely solely on data already stored within the blockchain itself. You can think of it like verifying a transaction. Did the owner sign it with their private key? Does the account have enough funds? Is the transaction type valid within the smart contract? This narrow focus on internal on-chain data verification allows blockchains to achieve a highly secure and efficient consensus mechanism, preventing double spending attacks and minimizing network downtime. However, there is a catch. This isolation creates a challenge for smart contracts to truly unlock their potential. Many smart contracts need to connect with the real world. Imagine there's a supply chain management smart contract. It can track the movement of goods within the blockchain, but it can't verify if the goods physically arrived at their destination without external data, like sensor readings or tracking information. This inability to access external data securely is the crux of the Oracle problem. Smart contracts often rely on real world data to function properly, but blockchains themselves cannot access it. So this is where blockchain oracles come in. You can think of blockchain oracles as a secure bridge between blockchains and the real world. Oracles are like messengers, trusted external services that can source, verify, and transmit data from the outside world to smart contracts on a blockchain. They enable smart contracts to interact with off-chain data and fulfill real-world use cases such as the aforementioned supply chain management. If not for oracles, the use cases for smart contracts contracts will be substantially limited as they can only access data within its own blockchain. Oracles can transmit a variety of data such as price data, payment confirmations, and sensor measurements to name a few. However, the big challenge for oracles or the oracle problem lies in making sure reliable data is fed to smart contracts without putting the blockchain's security at risk. This is because smart contracts are designed to be self-executing and reliable, enforcing the terms of an agreement without human intervention. The predictability of outcome is everything to a smart contract's objective. Therefore, the underlying blockchain must not have any single point of failure, including the oracle that is feeding data into it. A smart contract on a decentralized blockchain that relies on a centralized oracle would undermine this very principle. In this scenario, the centralized oracle will have too much influence on the outcome of the smart contract as the input from the oracle dictates the execution of the smart contract. Even if the centralized oracle operator may not be malicious, it is still vulnerable to technical issues, cyber attacks, and human error. As the value of the smart contract or the blockchain grows, this scenario becomes substantially more dangerous due to risks like bribes, censorship, and regulatory pressure. This is why blockchain oracles must achieve the same security and reliability of a blockchain, namely through decentralized oracle networks or DAWNs. To understand DAWNs and how they work, let's use the leading DAWN in the space, Chainlink, as a case study. Chainlink doesn't have a blockchain of its own, but instead relies on a decentralized network of independent operators running oracle nodes. The nodes collectively gather and aggregate data from a plethora of sources to transmit a validated single data point to a smart contract. To eliminate single points of failure, Chainlink uses 
three layers of aggregation on many of its services. So let's explore these layers by looking at the most demanded price oracles in the DeFi space, Chainlink price feeds. The first layer is data source aggregation. To ensure the data is reliable and tamper proof, nodes will pull price data exclusively from reliable data aggregators like CoinGecko. As data aggregators collect raw price data from various on and off chain exchanges to generate refined data sets, the data source is refined and accounts for any abnormal deviations in the raw data. The second layer is node operator aggregation. Node operators collectively gather data from multiple independent data aggregators, then take the median value to remove outliers and account for API downtime. This bolsters the data by ensuring each price point is not only an aggregate from various exchanges, but also an aggregate from multiple data sources, further preventing any single point of failure. The third layer is Oracle Network Aggregation. By aggregating responses from all the individual nodes in the Oracle Network, a single data point is created. This is usually done by taking the median of the reported values after a predefined number of responses from individual nodes have been reached. This ensures the network as a whole maintains high uptime and is resistant to data corruption during its delivery, even in the event of nodes or data sources going offline or even turning malicious. Incorporating these layers of aggregation helps introduce redundancy and boosts the overall resilience of the price feed. This multi-layered approach minimizes the impact of any single source of error or manipulation, ensuring a reliable and tamper-proof price reference point for DeFi applications. Although Chainlink is by far the most widely adopted blockchain oracle, it's certainly not the only oracle in town. Let's look at another blockchain oracle that is rapidly gaining steam in the space, Pyth Network. Pyth Network is a DAW that specializes in delivering high-frequency, ultra-low latency market data for DeFi markets. Pyth is designed to deliver real-time updates, refreshing every 400 milliseconds on Solana and about every 10 to 15 seconds on Ethereum. This is in stark contrast with Chainlink, which updates prices every five seconds on Solana and every hour upon 0.5% to 1% price fluctuations on Ethereum. Rather than sheer speed, it puts more emphasis on data security. Another notable distinction of Pyth is its data distribution model. Instead of sourcing price data from third-party aggregators, Pyth sources first-party data directly from exchanges, trading firms, and financial institutions. Pyth states that aggregating first-party data serves to create more accurate snapshots of market prices. Notable data sources include CBOE, Jane Street, Wintermute, Binance, and OKX. As a result, Pyth Network is tailored specifically for DeFi and derivative markets compared to Chainlink's more general approach, which caters to broader use cases outside of DeFi, such as insurance, healthcare, and supply chain management. Blockchain oracles are certainly ubiquitous in the crypto and DeFi space and are widely used by dApps like Uniswap, Aave, and countless more. It's worth noting, however, blockchain oracles are far from being the perfect solution to the oracle problem. In fact, nearly $1 billion has been lost to oracle-related exploits since 2020. To combat this, some projects have decided to do away with oracles entirely by going oracle-free. Among the most prominent oracle-free initiatives is Ajna Protocol, a non-custodial permissionless lending protocol with zero reliance on external price feeds to function. By opting for an internal order book to establish asset prices, it eliminates the vulnerabilities associated with oracle reliance. This, however, does come with its own trade-offs. Sacrificing access to external data sources could limit its adoption for DeFi applications that require more precise market data. Nevertheless, Ajna Protocol is part of a movement in the Web3 space that is striving for a safer, more secure DeFi ecosystem by challenging the conventional reliance on blockchain oracles. Now, if blockchain oracles do fall out of favor eventually, they can 
still rebrand as a meme coin. Now, if you're interested in more educational videos like this one, subscribe for more. And of course, don't forget to leave us a like. Thanks for watching and stay curious and see you in the next video.